<laughs> okay. Hello. So <laughs> Hello. And welcome to another random episode of Nerd Nonsense. This may or may not go up somewhere. Anyway, let's get into it. Defend yourself, Makoto. Okay, so we're talking about cyberpunk, right? Okay. So this fucker sells his iconic weapons. Okay. It would make sense if my character uses the weapons for me to hold on to them. But I don't. That my character like I have characters where I just use specific weapons. Because I can only have mm-hmm, three mm-hmm, in my mm-hmm. hand. What's the point of having all these weapons in my inventory? Okay? So okay. then it's like, okay, so I'm a gunslinger dude, right? Why would I need an iconic katana? Just sell it, make the money, and get and buy something better. Buy a better outfit, whatever. But are you that desperate for money? Not yeah, desperate. It's so easy to get in this game. I'm not desperate. I'm just like, get, like ever, I don't need it. He's desperate. I don't know. Money is so easy to get in this game. Like, I'm it's also so crazy. easy to lose. Like, I'm like, man, that's a really nice car. I want to buy that car. So I bought the car. It just costs you a bunch of iconic weapons. Yeah, you can buy other weapons. You could buy, you could buy like cybernetics. You could buy cars. You could buy an apartment if you want. It's nice. You sell iconic weapons to buy a weapon. Because there are like on the, the iconic weapons aren't the best weapons in the game. But they're iconic. They're t- they typically are the best weapons. No, <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> You're literally on copium right now. <laughs> The mask hope. I just no, got. I, I the, do see where I'm you're coming from. I'm, I just got the "I'm in love with my car" quest, and I just got this weaponized car, just randomly. Oh, Keanu Reeves told me to try, like, get try to get in this car. I did, and now it's mine. <laughs> he doesn't even refer to him as Johnny Silverhand. He's just like, no, it's Keanu, Keanu Reeves. It's Keanu. T Deck was like, oh man, they made Johnny Silverhand look so cool in his design. And I was like, that's literally just Keanu Reeves. Yeah, and Keanu Reeves is just cool. He he was born cool. <laughs> he just came out of the womb looking so fucking cool. Yeah, it's Keanu. Wait, did you guys know that there was a whole period of time pre Matrix where Hollywood hated Keanu? What? Yeah, like. I had to like, I, but there was a whole deep dive that went down. So apparently, people hated that he was in movies. Like all the Hollywood critics are just like he was like the most hated actor in Hollywood for some reason. People were like, oh, he's so wooden, he can't act. Like it was a whole thing, and the Matrix came out, and then it like switch time switch. Even though he was that's beloved. arguably his most wooden role, it fit him. <laughs> <laughs> like I just don't get how like they say that he's so wooden, and then like and then he's in the most wooden role he's ever played, and they're like. Dude, this guy's a, this guy's a mastercraft. Like <laughs> they're like, wait, wait, wait he's on to something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's he he he's really on to something here. What was nah, that movie where wild. he was like he was he was like a I don't know, like like a like a high like a high school bad boy or something. I forgot what, what movie it was. It was like some sort of like rom com film. Oh, I could see it in my head. Shit. What was that? I don't know. Ugh. What, Wasn't t- he also like a Lord of the Rings meme or something? Uh, Lord of at the some Rings? point, at some point, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he was like the he was like the the shaven face with the with the long hair going like a uh kind of face. Right, here, Keanu Reeves filmography. Uh... What's your favorite game in say? I mean, <laughs> my favorite what? game in Cyberpunk. What's your favorite? What's your favorite uh vehicle in Cyberpunk? Anything that lets me crash. What? Is that something you do it's a style. lot when you drive? <laughs> yes. I'm notoriously bad at driving in video games. I this is probably I can't drive in real life. Favorite, this is probably my favorite game to drive in, I'd say. I'm if you if I really good. do need to do this up play this update because the driving mechanics when I played weren't that great, but I did hear they got so much better, so I'm like It's it, it's still slippery. Like I could I could still easily crash in the car. Stuff. The turn radius is sometimes sucks, even on bikes where I feel like the turn radius should be best. But yeah, you know, it's like it, it like it's still a little jank, especially because I'm pl- just playing it on mouse and keyboard. But overall, like it's still just it, it feels this probably feels the best that I felt in a while. Now, granted, I don't play a lot of I don't play any like racing genre games. I don't play Forza or anything like that. So I'm sure it probably 
arguably his best in those games. So, gotcha. Hmm. One of these days, I'll get the steering wheel. Also, I still cannot figure out what movie that was. Um, probably looking at names isn't helping. I probably would need to look at pictures of the movies. Uh, you know what? It'll come one day. I'll wake up in a cold sweat. Probably just, probably just search when role where, or movie where Keanu Reeves is a high school bad boy. <laughs> high school bad boy. I hope this doesn't ruin my uh, search histories. Keanu. Why did it try to autocorrect something else? Not gonna no. lie, when I remember when the Keanu movie came out, I thought Keanu Reeves was gonna be in it. Well, you thought what? Wait, repeat that one more time. I there was a movie called it. Keanu. It was like oh, a... yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I also Keanu thought that... Reeves to be in it. I also did expect that as well. At least a cameo. Uh, I don't know. It's not coming up. Knock Knock's coming up, but Knock Knock I know is not the movie. That's the movie where he sleeps with the high schoolers. Uh, I think, wait, I think that actually might be it. <laughs> is that the one you're thinking of? Knock Knock? Maybe. He's a family man, and then he, like, he he he, he gets seduced. Because I, I don't think he is a high schooler, schooler in the film. It's probably Knock Knock, then. I don't, I don't think he is one, but I don't remember. I, it was one of those movies my dad just had on, and I was like, ooh, a movie, and I watched it. Babe. In yeah. High Can you get me my water? <laughs> okay. I think I might be poisoned. Poisoned, you say? Is there soap in this? Are you eating soap? I was drinking my soda and. Did you get like a soapy cup? Hey, at least it's clean. <laughs> oh I no! I wasn't. Ac- I just hope I wasn't accidentally drinking bleach. No, I don't think so. This might have been one of our cups that we just put like soap in to clean like Hinata's piss. Hinata's piss? Yeah, you just put in soap and water and you just dab it onto the onto it. Where did you grab this cup from? Oh no. It'll be okay. Oh, I promise. Uh, oh no. I'm gonna die, guys. I'm gonna die. Also, for the viewers, if this episode does actually end up airing and seeing the light of day, this is Via Luna Plum. Say hi, Via. Oh, true. True. Via Luna Death. <laughs> Why did the door open back up? I just shut it. It's just open. This is, in fact, the most scuffed episode of Nerd Nonsense. And I expect it to, in fact, be one of the most popular episodes of Nerd Nonsense because of how scuffed it is. Especially I considering sure. what our current I most sure popular one is. I sure hope so because it's me, Via Luna Plum. Also, Via Luna Plum was on our most popular episode as well. That's true. So this maybe isn't just, de- this it's, isn't her debut. This is her second like, debut. This is her second debut. And clearly she just attracts the viewers. So That's the that's the tech. We that's get the, women. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Why didn't we think of that? Oh my goodness. Man. You should have so gotten stupid. a female co host. What? <laughs> should have gotten a female co host. Damn. <laughs> it done messed up. All right, it's too late now. We're 13, we're 13 episodes deep. Oh, what would we just call it? Like episode 16 or 17, would this be? My Probably. Mouth tastes like soap. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't die. It's worse because I kept drinking it. Oh, my God. I, like, drank most of it before I tasted the soap. Oh, no, no, no. You're going to be okay. She should be fine. It's just soap. Like, I like, don't know. I've never eaten soap. <laughs> I, th- I mean, they used to feed kids soap when they'd cuss. Yeah, but um, a Christmas story told me you go blind if you eat soap. Huh? <laughs> you don't remember that scene from a Christmas story? I know the scene that you're talking about where he has soap in his mouth. I don't remember the part where he said you'll go blind. No, no, no. So, so afterwards, after he has soap, he has a daydream. Where I'm because he had soap, <laughs> because he had soap, he went blind and I'm like became a cripple. Blind. And they were like, "We shouldn't have given you soap. We're so sorry, Ralphie." I'm gonna go blind. I I don't know how accurate it is. With like the evil ass mall Santa kicking kids down slides. No, but that's realistic. 
You ever been at the mall no, of Santa? No, I don't think it's realistic that there was a slide in the mall. No, the slide part is definitely not realistic. <laughs> but Santa being evil and a dick, that's definitely realistic. I mean, yeah, they are pretty evil. Yep. Swear you know about the stories of mall Santas. Oh, yeah. <sighs> they, wear, they wear the red to hide the blood. Go blind. <laughs> You'll be fine. But if you do, you know why. I've had soap before, and I'm fine. Are you? I don't think he is. <laughs> I mean, okay. I met him. So, okay, so I will also point this out while we're recording. Um, um Luna and I are also playing Cyberpunk at the same time. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, as we're recording. Um, I'm running to do my okay, FTO so, dailies. So I'm at the... Uh, I'm at the afterlife right now. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are are there other drinks that show up later on in the game? I don't know because you've told me that there are other like Luna. You've told me that there are other cocktails in the game outside of just Jackie Wells, Johnny Silverhands, and David Martinez. Yeah. Spoiler alert for Cyberpunk Edge Runner. But <laughs> um, uh, rip. What are some of the other drinks that are there? Because so far these are just like regular alcohol, like not named people. Okay, uh, let see. me find the afterlife. Uh, let me go to the afterlife real quick because I'm not at there right now. Let's see if I can find it on the web. There's straight up like a tequila that comes to you in a gas tank. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll order myself a David Martinez. Oh, yeah, no, I, I've... I want to try these in real life. You know, is there a cyberpunk cookbook or drink book? Well, they can tell you the recipes right here. A shot of vodka on the rocks topped with Nikola, which I assume Nikola is just their brand of Coca-Cola. Um... Yeah, because they have like Nikola, Nikola Blue, Nikola Fire, Nikola Sakura. Hmm. And it's all just in a can. It's not letting me order a drink. Um, Johnny Silverhands is a tequila old fashioned with a splash of beer and a chili garnish. Oh, that actually sounds real good. Sounds painful. <laughs> it's not letting me order a drink at the bar. What the fuck? I really want to try uh, Jackie. Jackie's vodka, lime juice, ginger beer, and love. In a love. splash. Splash of love. love. I came all the way here and it's not letting me order a Don't drink. Don't you have to talk to Claire? I am trying to. It will not let me. Damn, what'd you do? You're not getting a drink in the afterlife. All I did was turn her down on her request about the racing side quest. I hate racing side maybe, quests. Maybe now you're banned from afterlife drinks. She trusted you. There's the thanks you get. <laughs> Damn. Oh, who have you guys romanced in Cyberpunk? I am curious. I haven't gotten far enough to romance. I anymore. romanced River and and Judy. Okay. I haven't gotten far enough because I've made four characters already. <laughs> Jesus. And I already have my mind on a fifth one. I do, I really do need to get back in this game, but I'm like I fear from starting it right now because I know in like a week and a half Tekken Eight comes out, and then. And like a week after that, Persona Three comes out, and then that'll be my time. Oh fuck! Bandle Tail just just came out today. Oh, did it? Wait, really? Yeah, Bandle Tail just came out today. There's too many fucking games. The League of Legends farming sim. Yeah. What it, it says it comes out on the February twenty first. That's it. Oh wait. today. Oh February twenty first. Oh February. The one month from today. Okay, thank God. Whew. Thought I missed out. Unfortunately, the game's only single player. Just a little unfortunate. Uh, which is mm. fine for which is fine for a farming sim, but still, I would love to do like you know, be out of with my friends. Like I don't typically like use uh, multiplayer too much in farming sims, but it's always a nice feature to have. You know. Yeah. I thought when we were playing Sunhaven, that was really fun. That was. I would like to get back to that at some point. Um, ooh, since this is actually going to be a podcast, I mentioned the Luna already, but I started watching Ted, the Ted series. 
and it's a riot. Uh, apparently, if you don't do the quest or if you fail the races and stuff, then she won't talk to Claire. Won't talk to you at the afterlife anymore. <laughs> he did get locked out of the drinks. You got banned from the afterlife, bro. <laughs> Hey, does that make you immortal? No, it just means you're not going to get a drink when you die. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Rip. Uh, but yeah, Ted. I watched Ted. Have you heard yeah. of Ted? Have you heard of it? I know of Ted. Yeah, the... The, the, the bear. Um, Mark Wahlberg and... and um, the guy uh, who was Peter Griffin. Uh, uh, Seth, uh, Seth MacFarlane. Yeah. So yeah, there's a series now. It's a prequel. And it is an actual riot. Okay. Uh, highly recommend. If you like crass humor, I highly recommend. I mean, if you like Ted. <laughs> yeah. If you like the movie, you'll love the show. Yeah. Because it's just more of that, but set in high school, and it's hilarious. Uh, enjoyed it very much. I also watched Has Been Hotel, the first four episodes. They're now on Amazon Prime. Yeah, I saw they were. I saw they were out. There are people trying. I think there are people trying to make that show controversial. Yeah, I saw it. It's like uh, I, I've been seeing. I, I've been reading about like what they're trying to make. Con like I've been reading about like the controversial takes of of it and stuff. But I'm like, it just seems like they're reaching. Like they're trying. I get it. I do get some of the points they're being made. Uh, I think right to each their own. Should it maybe have for that one episode a minor disclosure at the beginning? Sure, maybe, probably. Um, but I think by that point you already know what kind of show this is and the subject matter they're dealing with. So you know, and it's a musical. Like I don't know what you're, I don't know what you expected. If you've been, if you like, if you followed it enough from previous stuff, which is at this point like people making plus on Twitter would would have, you know, the subject matter they're dealing with. And how they will use it in songs and stuff. So, me, I like it. I'm having fun with it. I like the songs. I think they're all bops. Um, oh damn it! <laughs> you died. I accidentally misfired onto a cop. <laughs> oh no! So now I'm against a bunch of gang people and the cops. Luckily, the gang people are killing the cops. So nice. Um. But yeah, very fun show so far. Love the vibe. I mean, I love the vibe yeah. for the, that thing. Um, they did recast everyone for the full show proper. Oh, um, and everyone. How did they do that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the details of that is. But everyone. I, I should probably look up who voiced who and stuff originally. But now everyone is uh, Broadway actors. Hmm. So they're all probably like, for the musical aspect. Yeah, it's it's definitely for the musical aspect because every song has every episode has two songs in it. Well, plus, they probably had amateurs at first, and then yeah. now they were able to get like bigger name voice actors and stuff. Maybe. Yeah. Well, not, not even like well, most of the. I think only Broadway one. Actors. Yeah, I think only one has had previous voice acting experience or two. The um, Vaggie, the girlfriend of Charlie, is voiced by the voice the actress who voiced Mirabelle in Encanto. Oh wow! Oh, so, so like, uh, St uh, Stephanie. Yes, she's in Brooklyn Nine Nine as well. Yes, yes. Yeah, she does a lot of theater, but then also does. Just a lot of other acting work in general. She's really talented. Yes. Um, so it's been very, very good. Um, though I've loved every song though so far. Um, yeah. Do you recommend people uh, check it out? Uh, anything else? We played well, me, that's what me and Via me and Via originally started this call to vent about Power World. Yeah, Power World. That's a that's a whole thing. That's a thing that came out. I have a friend who honestly, like, it's honestly been irritating me to uh, hear him talk about it because, um, he's the he was the type who will constantly remind you that Doja Cat is a like, he this, this is his words. Doja Cat's a Nazi. <laughs> oh, and uh, and uh, mostly just due to some of the political take the, the political standings that Doja Cat has made. Yeah, but then the moment like. I pointed out, like, you know, Pal World has, like, the, the creator of Pal World's, like, very open and it is very uh, supportive of AI art and stuff. They're like, I don't care. I love Pal World. It's the switch. Like, for me, it's the switch ups, right? That's what's bugging me. I don't care if you yeah. play Pal World. I don't care if you're like, you, right? If you support AI art, don't. That's your program. It's the switch ups. Uh, some yeah. people who are like, who are like, crucifying other people for using AI art and then we're like, mm, they're just like, oh, Pal World, I don't see you. I don't. 
I don't see. <laughs> I'm like, guys, 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 come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Like, even if, right, are there no 100% confirmation that uses AR? No. Is it highly likely based on the dev stance and a lot of the looks of stuff? Probably. But, but like, just not even willing to question it. You're just being like, no. I'm like, all right. There's a lot of switch ups going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people being very, like, hypocritical about their takes and stuff. Also, just... yeah. And, like, again, I get it. Pal World is a, can be, a, I, I'm sure it's a very fun game. I'm sure I'd probably enjoy it, but um, I have yet to. I feel to like try you're close so. to the target audience. Yeah, probably. But at the same time, like, I know it's not, it doesn't play similarly to Pokemon like everyone claimed it would, but, like, so, so maybe I would. To be honest, I want to play it just so I could capture people. <laughs> Also, that's like weird, right? Like that's a that's a very unintentional. I mean, like right, everyone's like leaning into it, but that that's a very interesting unintentional glitch, right? That's a glitch, right? I don't think that's supposed to be a feature. No, it is. Oh, they have they actually when you try to capture a person, it says you have like a seven percent to eleven percent uh, chance to catch them. So that was fully intended. So so game's just slavery game. And uh and actually like when you capture them, they say. It appears you used your PAL capsule to capture a person. As you can tell, you're allowed to do this, but it does make you kind of weird for doing it. Damn. Yeah. So it was a full intentional design thing. That's a take. Yeah. That's interesting. I want to hmm. do it so bad, though. <laughs> um. Yeah. I found the game boring, but I don't like survival games to begin with, so... Mm-hmm. Like... Again, game did not, from any of the trailers, did not seem like it was an ARC clone. And then I'm playing like, oh, this is just ARC. I feel like, from what I've seen, at least, I haven't really sat down and fully watched someone playing. I've, it's mostly just been clips. But it looks like Lego Fortnite. That's what Luna said. Uh, I haven't played Lego Fortnite, so I don't know. But it could very well be. Uh, it looks a lot like Lego Fortnite in the, in the way it is played, which first off, it already looks like Fortnite with the way you move, the way you mine and everything. Yeah. Um, and then like just the idea, cause like in Fortnite, in Lego Fortnite, you can, um, there are NPCs that will just show up as you upgrade your camp and you can, you can use them to basically do tasks that are like, that were very monotonous in the beginning. So then that way you don't have to worry about it anymore. You could worry about progressing your camp. Which seems like which seems like that's something that you can do with your pals. Yeah, that's the point of the pals in Pal mm -hmm. World. Um, so yeah, it's really nothing like Pokemon at all, honestly. Besides, like the features. Themselves. I assume, like, I saw your I saw your tweet. Obviously, I responded, and um, I and you you mentioned that they don't evolve, and I assume that's something that they plan on doing in the future because this game is technically like this is like an alpha release, yeah, or like a beta. So, so like, weird, it's early though. access. It is weird. Um, but I assume that's something that they didn't really want to worry about immediately. Now, one thing that I am a little bit on edge of is the uh the take where um I remember Luna mentioned to me that this guy apparently has had a reputation of starting games and not finishing. Yeah. Um, so that's something that like I wanna see and I wanna wait and see if uh they will do more updates or patches to this game. Yeah, it's definitely a... That's a big concern for it. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll know more by the time this episode actually comes out. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it is uh, definitely like... Hmm. That is something to be concerned about. I'm also the... Oh my god, my brain. I had... It was there, and now it's not... You were saying about it came up in my head when you said about the tweet. Uh, you know, I'll come back to me later, maybe. But yeah, Power Worlds, it's a, it's a, it's whatever, right? I garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just feel like I'm being gaslit by the world. To be honest. No, I really don't think there's anything wrong with like your take or anything though like I, I i meant i meant everything i said in my tweet yeah like you know it's like i you know not every game is for everyone you know and like and that's i don't think oh. there's anything to be discouraged about that's what it was by any means. the pokemon comparisons 
Those are all right. It's doesn't I mean, to me. It doesn't feel like it's not really Pokemon like. So when people are bringing up, oh, Pokemon needs to become more like Power World. I'm like, like what? Like you want the core well, gameplay of way, Pokemon like, to change or RCS sort of play kind of similar? Uh, not really. Definitely more similar than regular Pokemon. <laughs> but yeah, definitely more similar than regular. Uh, the point of Arceus was collecting, right, rather mm. than building anything. Like, there was some minor crafting for Pokeballs and some minor resource gathering, but it wasn't, like, so overt, and that wasn't the goal of the game, right? Arceus was very much still is filling out your decks and capturing and doing, like, uh, and filling out objectives. So, there was no, like, base building aspect. Gotcha. And there's no like hunger meter or anything like that, like our like uh, Power World has. Yeah, which I'll be honest, I'll be honest with anyone watching this. Um, if you want to play a game, if you want to play a Pokemon game that plays like Power World, just play Pixelmon on Minecraft. If you already have Minecraft, it's free. Honestly, a better, honestly <laughs> thing probably to be honest. Um, but yeah, well, it's also why right I never got into Minecraft because I just don't like building. Yeah. Well, and to be honest, I'm not crazy about building either. I typically what I what I do is I pay someone to build something for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just like, hey, I'll get you diamonds if you build me a house. Yeah, I've never been like one for the building or like crafting stuff. Which, yeah, yeah, I definitely like crafting. I just don't like building buildings. Crafting's hit or miss for me. It really mm -hmm. does depend on. The way it's implemented. Um, I don't think the Lego, Lego yeah. Fortnite does it very well. Like one thing that's annoying about Minecraft, and they have made it easier for Minecraft, but it's recognizing the recipes and memorizing them and stuff. Mm. It's very frustrating. And there are mods that make it easier. And Minecraft also made it a little easier with the crafting guide, but it's just very awkward to use the crafting guide. Gotcha. Um, but um. You know, uh, for Lego Fortnite, it's just there's a list. If you have the ingredients, just click on it on the list, and boom, you have it. That's simple. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Hmm. Hmm. I saw the uh, the first girl in Logon movie. Oh yeah, how was that? It's awesome. I haven't seen it before, so I've, obviously I've seen the entire show. I just haven't yeah. really seen the movie. I have. I saw the movie way back when it came out in uh, Japanese. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, overall, has great moments. They just they just kind of summarize everything that happened yeah. within the first I want to say sixteen episodes, but then at the end they change um, how he handles like the threat because yes. in the end, like in the show, it's like he handles each general one at a time, but then instead for this one they decide to knock out all of them at once. Yeah, which I know, like I know the spoilers in the end, like. You had a long time to watch this. Now, granted, it's hard to find these days. <laughs> I tried uh, looking for it online, and I can't find it anywhere. Is Girl like, Wait, is even... Logan actually streaming anywhere? The actual show? The actual show is. It's on Netflix and Hulu okay. and Crunchyroll, I believe. Yeah, and the movies are hard, but the, the, the show is very hard. You can't even buy it. You like? I tried. I wanted to see if I could buy a Blu-ray of it. I can't. It's yeah. only avail. It's only available for. Japanese Blu-ray. I'm wondering if after these movies, they after the wait is you know what is this actually the first U.S. release of the movies? Yes, that's why they, yeah. they've dubbed it. They 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 dubbed it, so that's why I watched it in theaters and stuff. Yeah, this is the, this is the first dubbing of it though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's why why you can't find Blu-rays of it. Uh, it'll probably release it after the like after it's well, not the, well, in in Japan region locks their Blu-rays. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. So, which is wild, yeah. Hey, they shut this door, jerks. Uh, next week, there was a second movie, right? Uh, yes, this Wednesday. That I really want to see it in 40x, but I don't know if I will be able to. That one, I do want to see. I have to check my work schedule if I can because I do that one. I think is the better of the two. Um, that one's gonna start off as a high and also like just get higher, yeah. If you have it because you've never seen the movies, right. Have you like you? Do you I'm know what they aware add? Aware of I, I think I've seen in AMVs how it ends specifically how okay. they handle the fight. Because they go, um, they just keep, they just they do the girl and Lagan thing to the nth yeah, degree, yeah. and it's really I mean, hype. Yeah, 
I personally really like how they did the first movie better than they do in the show. Really? I think they handle that final conflict better. Interesting. I liked the idea of giving our villains an opportunity to combine. That's like that. valid. I think yeah, that is. I think that is in the spirit of the show. Um, however, they kind of did the bird general dirty because he's such a cool character in the show, and he's just kind of like a whatever character in the movie. Yeah, it does speed through a lot. I think right. Like, I would never say this is a good substitute for the show, the first movie. Um, I think it'd be a great way to introduce it. Plus, it is a great way to skip episode four. <laughs> Fair point. Just, episode four was just terrible. Like, if I were to ever say, like, hey, if someone wanted to watch the second movie instead of this time skip arc, that I'd be like, yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. The first movie, I feel like it just doesn't fully convey the first season as much. You don't have enough time I to breathe. I want to bring Luna to watch it, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know if she needs to see the first movie or if she uh, maybe i should just have her try to watch the show the first 16 episodes wait luna have you never seen like, girl gone is she here so luna huh oh. <laughs> have you have you seen girl and Lagan? no damn okay rip that's unfortunate but you know that i haven't seen it well i was asking no 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 i knew i just i I was one. I I also just didn't know if you were still there or not. <laughs> Sorry, I was immersed. It's okay. I'm actually on a mission right now to find Jotaro. <laughs> Jotaro Kujo? Nani? I'm like, it's, it's a gig. It's a monster hunt. And I'm like, hey, yo, Jotaro, though? <laughs> Continuing, though, from uh, why I was talking about, uh, not from before, from a previous episode, how I've been watching the weekly anime. Solo mm -hmm. leveling is popping off, dude. Solo leveling? I've been hearing that it, uh, lots of people are, um, lots of people were anticipating it and they're loving it. It's real good. I definitely recommend. Like right now, my two favorite, like my three favorite shows right now airing are Free Run, obviously. Yeah. Solo leveling and Shangri La Frontier. Like those are my trifecta right now. That's a show that I think we should watch. Luna's, for, uh, what is it, Free Run? Or... Free Run, yeah. Luna would yeah. like it. It's got a good vibe. Right now, they're in their middle of their tuning exam arc. As much, as much as a tuning exam arc it can be for a chill show like that, but I've it is like, watching, it's basically the tuning exams. I've been watching Totally Not Mark's six hour Naruto review. What the hell? Wait, what is that? He he did a, well, obviously it's a review of Naruto, like all of Naruto that's been released so far. And he, uh, or let's say some including not going to continue Naruto, but, um. Yeah, of all the manga, and then like when he needs to note something about the show, he does. But um, it's a I I personally really like it. It's very fun because he pretty much goes in depth through each arc of the manga and stuff, and it's his first time reading it, so he also gets that first time perspective. That's cool. And he's very analytical too. He, the dude grew up watching Dragon Ball, so then like he also has like that idea for like um, yeah, for, like shonen shows and stuff. Man. I've been thinking about like streaming reactions to anime recently. Uh, you, kind of pivoting. What? From what I understand, you basically just have to like watch it, but like you can't show like any audio. Like what some of my other VTuber friends do is they'll have like a timestamp, I guess, of yeah. how of where they are in the show or movie, and they just sort of verbally react to it. Well, so I've been following a few, uh, or rather. A uh, creator that does actually just stream it live on Twitch. He just doesn't keep the VODs. And then he puts mm. it up. Heavy, he heavily edits them on YouTube. And then releases the, the, those VOD reactions on Patreon. And that's a decent mob. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good I just don't know how to go about editing it for you, like a YouTube fight. Because that's where you probably... That's like, right, to get like traction for like reactions and stuff. That's definitely where you'd want to put it. I'm just not sure how I would go about doing that so i have to watch some more like reactions to content to see that's a good way for you to do it if you just don't feel like it because i know today you felt like streaming but didn't feel like gaming yeah that's kind of like where i'm at right now too uh so i don't know it's something i'm pondering gaming's just been like something that i just want to do by myself yeah that's where <laughs> i'm at really lately um oh. obviously there's sometimes where i'm just like i want to stream this and just talk and stuff 
like I am right now. Like I am making it a series where I'm devoting myself to streaming all the Fate Extra games. Mm. Um, doing that mainly so I can push myself to replay Fate Extra. I need to replay it before playing Fate Extra CCC, which finally got a fan translation. Um, but Fate Extra and Fate Extra CC both have very dated gameplay. So it is like I'm just pushing myself to do it. Because of what came out in 13 years ago, 14 years ago. Um, so not the best gameplay. But I do want to play them all. So Fate Extra through. So Fate Extra, Extra CCC, Extella, and Extella Link. So all the extra games. Okay. Um, it'll be interesting. I'm excited to do it. It's just a lot of... It's a lot, especially because I'm doing... There's so many... There's alternate endings. So you mm-hmm. gotta go through it multiple times. For sure. Uh, to get the... And I never actually... So when I played it way back when, I never did any of the other routes besides my first playthrough, which was I chose Saber as my servant, and then I did the... There's like a root split halfway through the game where you can either save one or two characters, and so I did one root. And that changes some of the battles you do in the later half, second half of the game. I never did I the just, other half. I just know... I really want to stream games like that, or like there's like multiple endings I want to like play through, but mostly I want to play like Telltale games, I guess, because I get tired of reading on stream. That's Yeah, no, that's also the other thing. I'm like... I forgot how much of the game isn't voiced. Like, it's all voiced in Japanese, but if there's something voiced in Japanese, I'll just let it play and not read it. But I forgot how much of that game is also not voiced in Japanese. Like, just mm-hmm. not voiced. I'm like, oh, shit. all right, time to read. And I have dyslexia, so it's always a struggle. <laughs> I'm always trying not to fumble, you know? Luna, your thoughts? <laughs> huh? Um, is it Luna, uh... your thoughts? <laughs> um... Uh, words. I've been immersed into cyberpunk, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on. Um, you know, I is stuff. Yeah. You know, I do. I, I. I. This is. This is very. Uh, what's it called? You right in this moment. You remind me so much of my sister because she can also just. She zones in on something, hyper focuses, and then we'll be saying something there, and she'll be like, huh? Z- same thing. You know, the story gets good. Like, you should you should get back into cyberpunk. I will want to, it just there's not enough time. Come on. Persona's coming out in two weeks. I know. I don't want to start a long game like Cyberpunk and then have to drop it again. But haven't you already gotten pretty far into it? Yeah, but I don't remember anything that happened. Like, where I'm at. Like, I can't just jump back. I have to restart. Like, a personal issue. It It is! (laughs) It is a personal issue. Have you tried not having personal issues? I have. It hasn't worked. Um, they always creep back up. This is like the coolest perk in the game. I swear, I'm doing the uh, like the one where you can block with your sword and it deflects bullets. Oh yeah, it is the coolest perk ever. Man, that's peak cyberpunk right there. It's cool. It's so cool. I'm an edge runner. You running on the edge? I have the edge runner perk. What does that do? It Let's you run you on to, edges. It allows you to go over your cyberware capacity. Oh, so we call oh, David. It. Do you also have a? Do, do you also run the chance of becoming a cyber psycho? No. Damn. Yeah. No. That ruins my immersion. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Don't want that one. <laughs> can't can't become a cyber psycho. I want a chance nah. to lose control. The game just takes over. You you start moving yeah. your controls for you. Imagine, and luckily I got no companions, so no one could die by my hands that I care about. Honestly, that'd be really cool though. It'd be a real cool mechanic. Not gonna lie. Imagine if that's how. Spoiler alert! Imagine if that's how Jackie dies. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Not hurt me like that right now. 
All Cyberpunk does is hurt me. It just emotionally wrecks me. I genu- I genuinely believe that like the data chip. Because Jackie put it in his head first, the one that Johnny, the Johnny's little data chip thing. So, part of me kind of wished that part of Jackie's subconscious was also loaded into that data chip. Bro, that'd be so, so cool. So then, like, you would have like basically your shoulder, your shoulder angel and shoulder devil moments with Johnny and Jackie. I'd like that. That'd be real cool. I just love this game. Like, it's. I don't know. It feels the gameplay feels like how I wish Fallout played. Mmm. Yeah, at times, definitely. I don't know about 2.0, but when I played before, it definitely like there were times I'm like, man. If only. It just like the melee combat, because that's something that Fallout always lacks. It's like you ha- they have all these yeah. melee weapons, but you can't really do much with them other than just slash slash and then block people who are like Attacking you with a melee attack. Yeah, melee like, combat was never that great in Fallout. Mm-hmm. Which is strange considering the same company made Skyrim. Yeah, it's weird. But even so, I feel like melee combat's better in this game than Skyrim. Um, yeah. Personally. Well, time, you know? They've had time to look at their predecessors oh, sure. and actually like, you know, improve. Yeah, for sure. Which is what makes me look forward to the next Elder Scrolls game, if you know, Bethesda can get their shit together. <laughs> Speaking of Bethesda, did you see the uh, Indiana Jones Machine Games game? No. Uh, you know about it beforehand. I didn't know there was an Indiana Jones game. Okay. It was announced a couple years ago uh, to be Machines Games game. Um, and they released a kind of like first look thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks pretty solid. Okay. Not going to lie. Machine Games does great work, obviously. Yeah. I love Wolfenstein. Um, Oh, it's them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, New Order uh, Colossus. Um, looks real good. Troy Baker's voice in uh, Indy. Okay. He's had another one to his belt. Yep. Um, but yeah, the game looks good. It looks solid. I'm definitely interested. Okay. It is set between... Um, uh, which two movies is it set between? The new one and the first one. Uh, no. I mean... I mean, yes, sure but no. <laughs> Not what I meant, though. You can't say I'm wrong with that one. <laughs> Wait, hold up. That doesn't make sense. Can I get a timeline? I mean, I'm stupid. Indiana Jones, the movies aren't in order, right? I believe so. I don't think they ever did a, like a prequel. Hold up. Wait, I'm looking. I, I feel stupid right now. When I just looked at that, and that didn't make sense in my head. So let me look at this. Hold up. Okay, it's set between Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Lost Crusade. Wait, what? But doesn't Temple of Doom happen then? I'm so confused. I sure wish I watched Indiana Jones. <laughs> I don't watch it like regularly, but I've seen them. Temple of Doom is the first one that came out. I played Lego Indiana Jones. It came with my Xbox. Valid. I'm, I'm so confused. Can someone, can someone explain this to me? <laughs> In the comments. I'm like... Leg- Lego Indiana Jones... And so wait, Raiders of the Lost Ark and- is a prequel. Is it? Maybe. Maybe there's flashbacks. No. What? Maybe it's like maybe it's like part prequel, part not. Temp- Temple of Doom is a prequel. Is it? Yeah. That's why I'm so confused because it came out after Lost Ark, but it's a prequel to Lost Ark. Look, all I know is Harrison Ford is Indiana Jones, and Shia LaBeouf was in one of them. Crystal Skull. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That one indeed. got sponsored by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, it's in between Lost uh, Lost Ark and Lost Crusade. All right. How it all lost makes sense. Are they? <laughs> Pretty lost. Sounds uh, like it. What am uh, I doing? I have a call. I don't know, man. I'm literally running to my destination. Seems very inefficient. When I have a weaponized vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What have you been up to, Luna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What has Luna been up to? Trying to get enough money to buy, like, this quick hack. Luna, why don't you tell the people about yourself? Who Um, are you? I'm a vampire VTuber. (laughs) I'm super fucking scuffed, so my friends make fun of me a lot for it. Me, I'm friends. Um, Yeah, you know, I get bullied a lot. Me, I'm the bully. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, just you have mascots. To make some money. I have mascots. Yeah. Uh, their names are Barry and Plum, but we don't really talk about Plum as much anymore. Poor um, Plum. <laughs> Very overshadowed Plum. Yeah, pretty much. That Texas speech, you know? Yeah, the Texas speech is just too fucking good, you know? Barry just, like, you know, outshined. Absolutely. Got that accent, you know? It says some unhinged shit. Yeah. It's pretty good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Very good. Maybe if I do a gig, I'll make some more money. I'm trying to, like, get the cyber psychosis quick hack. What does that do? Make someone into a psycho? Yeah, pretty much. That feels a little messed up. Kind of sad. It's funny. It's literally, like, just trigger someone's PTSD or something. Like, (laughs) It's kind of really messed up. How do I feel about that? I like it. Do you? Yeah. I think it's really funny. Damn. What are some things that you feel like you could nonsense about nerd-wise? I don't know if she heard you. What are some things that you feel like you could (laughs) nonsense nerd-wise? What? (laughs) I'm not editing that part. That's that's perfect. What? Wait, what did, what do you say? <laughs> what are some things that you think you could nonsense nerd wise? Nonsense nerd wise? Um did I stutter. <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Well, well, I guess like the ending of Cyberpunk, you know, the anime. <laughs> I can nonsense nerd nerd wise about that i just get angry look look we just have to pick the right thing luna tell me tell me how you really feel about dang and rumpa <laughs> oh um see it's fucking psychotic like i genuinely think that the creator of dangan rumpa what's his name again kodaka kodaka i almost said kojima and i was like that's not right and i know that's not right Imagine if Kojima wrote a Danganronpa game. Be three be times as long. Up. I just like being a net runner, man. This is so cool. Anyways, um, hold the goddamn phone. Sorry, pausing everything. Ami Ami out here with the goaded anime figure of the Doge dog. I thought we were talking about Ami Puppy Yumi. No, no, wait. Uh, what's the what's the channel for the what's the channel for this muted? Yeah, sure. Wait, look I at that! I'm look at that! Looking. Look at that! Not you too anywhere. can own a Doge Shiba Inu muscle figure. I'm saving the image so I can put it on screen. Look at that! Anyway, that was that was that. Um, did you hear about the new Danganronpa? I don't know if it's new. I heard. I just saw the video though of a Danganronpa new Danganronpa fan game. Maybe it's new? I don't know. Let me see. We're gonna play some more Danganronpa? Maybe. There's a new, it's a Korean Danganronpa fan game called Danganronpa Mauve. Came out in September. And I think it's translated, the, the first chapter's translated. The designs are good. It's better than, what was the other one we played that we hated? I don't remember the name of it. I don't rem- like to remember the things that made me upset. The main character's name was uh, Echo, right? Yeah. Something dumb like name. that. Dumb character. Dumb name. Dumb character. <laughs> dumb story. I shouldn't say that. That's mean. No, um, no. You can. It was dumb. But, like, it wasn't, like, you know, it was just... Laps. Fans. That's what it was. Dang and Ropa Laps. How do you guys like that one? No, no, no. We like the other one. The other one that we never finished? Uh, we, what else because the save file got messed up? They gave me the thing to fix it, though. Yeah, I but at never... this point, we just need to restart. Yeah. It's been too long. I do want to play yeah. Eden Garden. Yeah, that was the one. That one had high production value. It did. Felt like another new Danganronpa. Speaking of, I really do need to play Raincode. 
Yeah, I really want to talk to you about Ring Code. I know, I know. I just sit down and do it. But if you play Cyberpunk, I'll also be happy with that. Because that's my um, hyper fixation lately. I mean, I've played Cyberpunk. I just haven't finished it. Neither have you, so we're on equal footing. I just never really got to tell you how I really feel. Mm, tell me right now. How do you really feel about Cyberpunk? Man, it's, I think it's one of my favorite games. In the grand remember, scheme, remember Baldur's Gate. Remember Baldur's Gate. I think Baldur's Gate is definitely one of my favorite games too. But I think Cyberpunk is like also like I could have multiple. What the, f you know? No. What's your, what's your top ten? What's your top ten games? Uh, Persona Five, Baldur's Gate Three, Cyberpunk, um, Super Mario RPG. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. We never really I talked about have, it. Like, I, ha I haven't like finished like the remake or anything, but it's you, definitely one of my favorites. You played the original? Yeah, that's the. I haven't finished the remake, but the original. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So we never um, talked about it. That's why I was curious. Super Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Okay, okay, yeah, you mentioned that. It's actually one thing I keep forgetting about you is that you're a big Mario fan. No, I'm a big Mario RPG fan. There's a difference. I mean, you like the other ones, the other Mario's. Yeah, but it's it's not the same, bro. Damn, I just got broed. Damn, bro. Not you too, <laughs> bro. I always go back and forth in my top ten games. I know Persona Five is Persona is my favorite game of all time. That's like an undisputed like top, right? Have you played Persona Five Tactica? How is it? It's okay. Oh, it's not great. I haven't finished it, so that probably tells you how great it is. Uh, well, that doesn't mean anything, because you haven't finished Cyberpunk either. Yeah, but when I played Cyberpunk, it was broken. Oh. That is a really good point. Uh, Tactica is okay. I have to go back to it. I just The story's not... The first uh, area hooked me, and I don't know. The second area I'm in, I'm not as interested in. So, we'll see. I'll get back to it. I don't love the new character so much, so that's probably also part of it. Also, my favorite, like, my 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 trash duo is trio's not there, you know? My favorite, my favorite, my other favorite two companions are here, so. No Kasumi and no Kechi. So I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to live. It's fine. Fine! But it's solid. It's, I mean, it's very different gameplay-wise, right? Obviously, it's a strategy game. Um, so it doesn't entice. I love strategy games. But there's something about the Persona formula that's just so, like, chef's kiss, you know? Mm-hmm. And this one doesn't, like, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, right? Like, no social links. It's just really just feeling the vibe with the characters again. Yeah. In a chibi art style with tactic gameplay. And as far as spinoffs go, I think Strikers is better for Persona 5 spinoffs. Um, Strikers is really good, actually. Like, it recaptured the same magic of the original game somehow. Yeah, I would agree with Strikers. It's real good. I need to finish it though. Have they fixed the Naruto Boruto game? Which part? Which part? They fixed the uh, multiplayer. Uh, I don't know if they did. Let me see. Uh, so I remember that was like a major uh, complaint about the game is that there was no player to player PvP. Yeah, the multiplayer it just, issue it was just random matchmaking and the. Probably AI voices as well. Uh, to be honest, I feel that way about every just anime game they make. <laughs> Whether the voices sound AI? Yeah, like it's, it just seems like they just had like I mean, obviously not. They they didn't use AI for the past many years, but it just it, the voice acting always just seemed off about every single game they make for Dragon Ball, fucking Naruto, Demon Slayer, whatever. Uh, like it just. I think though. <clears throat> It always just feels off, and it just seems like they don't direct the lines. They just kind of like make them like just say lines and stuff. But yeah, I, I can. I think I remember seeing some cutscenes for the Naruto Boruto one that uh, there was. I think the big thing is the apparently a lot of the voice actors came out and said they did not record lines again, and it does sound different from the previous game. So it's like, mm -hmm. like if they just reused the lines from the previous game, okay, that would make sense why no one was re recorded. But the voices sound slightly different. And weird. So it's like, mm. I don't know about that. Hmm. Uh, I cannot find out if they fixed the multiplayer, though. I don't know. 
Do you want to get into an AI topic? <laughs> we can. Because I feel like I have a lot to say world. about AI. <laughs> Me and Luna were talking about before, so we can yeah, let's get in. Let's get let's get into it. Yeah. What are your thoughts I don't on AI? Know. I really like I don't think it's as big of a deal as a lot of people make it out to be, but at the same time, no. it's like I don't like the I don't like the big company usage of it, I guess. The companies that can actually hire people to make things but they just want to do it to save money rather than like i like the idea of a small indie company using it like there's a lot of people for visual novels right there's a lot of visual novels Mm -hmm. who just want to write a story right now who will use ai for the art for their characters until they can um and then so then they could get their game out maybe people want to back it and, and stuff so then they can take that time to hire an artist to um to redo the art and stuff. I mean, maybe if they release it for free and they're not profiting off of it initially, then maybe. I think this, the question then becomes, right, will they go back and hire an actual artist, right? Because I've I've seen a lot of examples of not doing that, right? Um, yeah, like there's the claims and there's them actually doing it. Yeah. Particularly, I know there's a huge Japanese market for AI, like AI art RPGs right now in the indie scene. And those, they just release it. And you can tell. You can easily tell those ones. Because it's like, it's a very specific AI art style. Mm-hmm. It's like, ah. Using the... I, 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 know, I know what... I know that's AI art. I can see the face slightly off. The fingers are messed up. The amount of, like, AI stuff that the anime store I work at, like, has, like, honestly really irritates me. Like... For me, I think my big thing about AI is the, as long as it's not, so if it, if the AI, if using the AI takes away jobs from someone, that's when I have an issue, right? If it takes away jobs or if it, uh, or if like, right, if it's used, if it's used and everyone has given consent for it, for like the stuff that it's drawing from, my issue is like also the stealing, right? The AI, they, they take from databases and use it to train it without the consent of those artists, right? To me, that's the slippery slope, you know. Yeah. Or like, it for uh, I guess we were talking earlier about uh, like using AI art to create IRL like realistic looking people. It's also taking people's faces without their necessarily consent, right, and using them in an well, for algorithm. For sure, and then like the the major for increase like of AI voice and stuff, like like it's funny, man. I like I find myself listening to AI plankton, but man, is it like also just like, like very irritating when I just think about like man like. That guy never consented to his voice being used for this. Yeah, like I've heard, uh, I've heard from different, like seeing online for different voice actors post how like unnerving how much they hate hearing their voice come out and hear their they hear their voice and they know they've never said what's being said, right? And you can also very easily use that kind of technology to incriminate someone as well, right? Sean Shemmel really seems like the type who does not support AI voice, and I know his, I and I hear his voice used a lot. Yeah. People, they just take and use the stuff without really a th- that thought, right? Like, it's it's definitely, there's a lot of slippery slopes with AI. Um, there Can there definitely be benefits to it? 100%. But that requires people to have a moral standing when using it and a moral backbone. And I don't trust, and I don't trust companies to have a moral, any sort of morality. And I also just hard-pressed to trust people in general to have the moral and the the well, self restraint mm-hmm. to hold themselves back, right? Like you mentioned yeah. the VN thing, right? There was a there was definitely like a point where I tug a word myself with thinking about using AI art to make a VN because I would really I really just the way I write in my head is all visual in my head, so I would love yeah. to do that. But then I'm like, well, then I'm I could if, like if I saved up enough money, maybe I could hire an artist, right, or like something like that. Like it's like I can't justify to myself not paying an artist well, or not sure. working with and an then artist. There's also just, it, it's the, it's the scumminess of the AI also that uses like existing art as well. Yeah. It, it's using other people's work already, which makes it c- kind of suck, especially like other artists who never consented to their art being used. Yeah. Like if, if right, if the database that was curated, right. For an AI thing to use, when everyone, every person, like all the images inside were that were put in, were consented to be used, hundred percent okay. Then, like I have no issues, mm-hmm. right? 
you know, it's, but that's is, never there really is the case. AI, not, not for art. Yeah, <laughs> it's called Vocaloid. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I was it, actually, uh, that, but. but no, but that actually is a great point because I was watching um, a streamer the other day, uh, and they were talking about that because they'd never really heard of. They were they're like a, they were the same person I was watching. I, I've been watching the re- anime reactions for. They had never really. They just recently knew her in the anime, and they said they never really understood the Vocaloid thing. And so the chat was explaining to him what it was, and she was like, "Oh," he's like, "But." He wasn't like it was like when did it come out? Because can't anyone do that nowadays? And like a two thousand seven was like oh okay, so it was like the pioneer of that AI kind of voice. Yeah, so, I think it, it had to do with like Miku being confirmed for Coachella and stuff. So yeah. now more and more people being are hearing about her um, for the first time for yeah. them, or like maybe they've heard of her but never investigated. And now people are trying to claim that like oh they got an AI voice for Coachella when that's not exactly the case. It's different. It's very different. I can definitely see the comparisons though, right? But it is also very it's 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 different. Um obviously the sampling that creates Mika's voice was given willingly and they were paid properly for the paid properly for that, right? So that's mm-hmm. licensed. To and, me that's okay, right? Yeah. It's just it is like it's all about it to me it's the it's the theft aspect and the you're taking away potential, like corporations anyway, taking away jobs from creatives, right? Like that was what the big strikes were about last year, right? Is protection from AI, because right AI writing is very prevalent right now in a lot of companies, mm-hmm. which makes it very scary to be a writer if without protection, right? And didn't like I could have sworn I also like saw like apparently like these these people who are like against like the strike or whatever. Like, didn't they find loopholes or something? The, Basically, I don't. Mm, I know there was. I don't know a loophole. I do know there was the whole thing that came out for voice actors not getting protection from AI. Gotcha. Um, which pissed a lot of people off because they were like, the voice acting part of the guild basically said a thing that looked like that uh certain AI thing, like certain AI things were okay, and a lot of the members did not get to vote on it. As they were very pissed about it, um, so I didn't see that. Mm. But it, there's a lot of stuff, so I could be missing something also. Because uh, there's, there's just there was so much happening during that whole thing. My, I guess my thing is also I'm like, which I say I hope, but also recent things with Power World makes me not believe that it's the case. That I was like, I hope people will be like, will be like. You can tell that the soul isn't there in AI art, a lot of AI art, and so that you just that the desire for human led stories will be there. Really care, like, but they don't care. Like, oh, the game is like fun. Who gives a shit? The amount of comments I've seen of people being like, "Oh, I don't fucking care." Like, like who cares? I'm just like, damn. Like people really just don't give a shit anymore. Well, and this also like this isn't exactly an AI related thing, but this goes back to like Hogwarts Legacy. Right. Um, people strictly play. Some people strictly played the game to piss people off. There That's was true. like a good amount of people who did that. There was also a amount of people who were just like, "I love Hogwarts. Like, I love Harry Potter, and I want to and I want to play like my wizard mm-hmm. game and stuff." Um, but there's also just a lot. I saw like a lot of comments and stuff. People just going like, "I just want to play this just to piss people off." <laughs> it's definitely like a. And I definitely have already seen the pow. There's a huge, I already see a huge part of pow, the power world community that is mm-hmm. just doing it specifically to try to piss people, either piss off Pokemon fans or like, may, or like just be join the the game freak Pokemon hater club. Mm-hmm. Um, so that definitely, yeah, that's definitely a part of it. So, uh, what was it? oh, made me think also because our conversation AI. So I was trying to think what it was. So last, so last year I watched a show called Sixteen Bit Sensation, mm-hmm. uh, anime that was about the development of visual novels, essentially, right? To boil it down, yeah. um, there's a weird time travel gimmick, but that's not important for this. Um, <laughs> of course it does. It's a Nero show. <laughs> Great. Look here! Look here! <laughs> God damn it! Uh, anyway, uh, time travel gimmick in it, but there was a point where. Um, the character went to the back, back to the future, right to their present, and had to make a VN, but without any of their teammates. And then, so they tried to do it with AI art, right, um, or AI uh, assistance, because mm-hmm. uh, they were the one they were an artist, so they were trying to use AI assistance to make it. 
Um, but then the <laughs> the, pre- the the premise of the, that two part episode ended up being that AI just creating from AI or from like uh, agu- uh, ag- eh. agu- aggregated aggregated pools of information doesn't it lacks the heart and soul of like the human creativity. But that was the end up ended up being the thesis statement for that. Uh, it lacked the heart and soul that was needed. Um, so I think I to me like right I can just looking at certain AI art it just it gives me the the heebie-jeebies you know it feels sure. off that uncanny valley you know it also like Pal World to me looks like just visually as a game just looks like a mishmash of a bunch of existing things oh hundred percent there's no visual cohesion mm-hmm. It's a mess. It's a hot mess of a game, visually. Yeah. Uh, nothing matches. Which, like, at first, like, aha, that's the quirky nature of it, but, like, it doesn't really... It's just kind of... I I, I think it might also have something to do with, like, it is, like, a mishmash of stuff, and maybe they plan on poli- maybe they plan on polishing it as the game goes on through future updates and stuff. You know, there that is a possibility. Yeah. Um, but, again, with just their reputation, it also just makes me wary, I guess. Yeah, I mean, let me see. Let me look at the. Uh, we're gonna go to Power World, uh, top sellers. Go, go to the dev pocket pair, previous games, AI art imposter. Uh, I, this is the big one that went made the rounds, right? Yeah. Uh, no, not the top seller. No, game serial. Four games, AI art imposter, over dungeon, and Craftopia, and then obviously Power World. Uh, oh, nope, we don't want sound. Hello. Uh, Craftopia is a card game that you oh, stop, stop. I don't want sound. No one heard that. Uh, and what's the other one? Over Dungeon? No, Over Dungeon is a card game. Craftopia is still in early access mm. from 2020. Now they're definitely not going to finish it. And it's a survival action game. That looks very similar to Power, except without the Pokemon. Actually, that's a lie. It doesn't look similar to Power. It looks like Breath of the Wild mixed with Animal Crossing and Rune Factory. Hmm. Uh, they did have an update though in December. That was a bug fix. What? Why are they? Why are they putting cows into a group? No. Okay. We're this definitely <laughs> the, the Akira slide. Fortnite. Sorry, this game just is screaming like 10 different games at me. No, what? It is just Power World. There's literally, you can catch animals with the exact same mechanic from Power World. By throwing monster prisms at creatures, you can catch them as a pet. Not only animals like cow and deer, but most of the monsters are also tameable. Monsters, gotta catch them all. Direct quote from Steam, their Steam page. Why do the skeletons look like they're a completely different art style? What? Hold up, mm. hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm sending you this. You this there. is for, wait, is this for Craftopia? Yeah, just their previous game. Like, you tell me that this isn't. <laughs> so what, they're just going to give up on Craftopia and fuck all the people that spent the money on it? I don't know, they were up to get suit early as last as December, so we'll see. But look, look, scroll down, you see that skeletons? I guess I should go and look. Go look, because I'm, I'm tripping up here. I'm, I'm tripping. It's a very clearly different this art is, style. This, this does look like Breath of the Wild. Like they stole like the hobgoblins and the. I heard that they actually are just reskinned hobgoblins. Hobgoblins. Yeah, this looks like Breath of the Wild, but then they added farming mechanics. And survival. And, like mechanics. some of the screen and the screenshots look like they stole just straight up from Breath of the Wild. It is. Oof. You see this, Makoto? A lot of reviews recently have been negative. Open your eyes, people! Pal World is a fraud! (laughs) You know what I'm naming this episode? That's it, that's the name. You should really... uh, Okay, your clickbait thumbnail is me with a tinfoil hat. (laughs) There it is. Or you and me both, I guess. Tinfoil (laughs) hats. All all three of us have foil hats on. Tinfoil hats. Pal World is a fraud. fraud. Don't listen to their lies. (laughs) 
easy. That's it. That's the that's the, that's the thumbnail right there. Thumbnail clickbait title. Let's go. And you listening? Oh, you you uh, fell for it. <laughs> Luna, what are your thoughts on our uh, on our photoshopping? Shut up. Oh, she hates it. Does she hate it? <laughs> It's so bad. How can you design that and think it looks okay? I don't think it looks okay, yeah. Like, how could you put that up and, and like, be like, yeah, that's fine. That's good enough. Like, no. Like, bro, if you need some help, you can ask. You're busy. I don't want to bug you. No, it's fine. I'll do it for fucking free. I don't give a shit. Anything to make it not look the way that it does. (laughs) See, guys, this is a life hack. Just, just, just do (laughs) it. (laughs) <laughs> just if just you have a so graphic designer and, friend and, and just do it so bad that they want to do it for you. <laughs> uh all right, I'll let you design the next thumbnail. Would that make you happy? I've zoned out what? <laughs> <laughs> I said if I let if I'll let you design the next thumbnail, would that make you happy? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> See, we don't need AI. Yeah. We have a Luna. <laughs> we have a via Luna Plum. I'm being abused. <laughs> no, we're just taking advantage of your skills. Yes. That's the same as being abused. <laughs> Look, you offered. <laughs> I, 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 I am, I, I I am knew guilt using, free. I knew using chiller would get me this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I didn't use chiller for that. I did joke you about didn't using use chiller. chiller for, you didn't use chiller for that one. Though I, <laughs> you, so there were four font options you sent me. And overall, oh, yeah. I was looking, I'll be honest with you, Nero. I looked at them and I'm like, this is bad. But at the same time, I didn't have a computer to work on it. So I couldn't do anything about it. So I was just like, <laughs> sure, let's just do it. Fuck it. Right. <laughs> so then you sent it to me. You sent me four font options. And I'm like, this is already bad. Maybe oh, well, we should just use Chiller. <laughs> the Chiller, I did send you the Chiller one. And that was meant to be a joke. Mm hmm. Uh, but I also considered actually doing it just just to piss off Luna. So I'm like, if we're already doing bad, might as well go all the yeah, way down. That, like, that's my mentality. I was like, let's just send it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I am not a visual artist. I am a uh, I am a, a master of words, not spoken words, written words. I can't speak. I don't know how this is honestly progressing as a podcast because I can't use words. <laughs> But I'm very eloquent and written. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's what all the A's in my English, my college English courses tell me. I don't know how objective that is. You know? Who's to say? <laughs> Who is to say? Uh, well. Yeah, I'm just, I, I've just been watching this freaking trailer on repeat and it's been pissing me off. Craftopia. Oh, the Craftopia trailer? It's been pissing me off. Man, I just like, what damn. Is look at the huge influx in negative reviews. January twenty first, twenty twenty four. Everyone's like, "Yo, yo, abandoned us." <laughs> There's already six negative reviews for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I assume there's time. I assume it's a time zone thing. Time zone, yeah. Abandoned for Power World. Wouldn't be surprised to see the game abandoned due to Power World. Abandoned for Power World, yeah. Let the- Power World close beta. <laughs> Honestly, though, abandoned for Power World. Abandoned for Power World. <laughs> Even after two years, I don't like it. Would like a refund, considering I basically paid for them to develop Power World. Damn. You paid for them to develop Power World. I'm reading reviews. I'm- oh. And to be honest, like, no harm in doing that, but don't try to like. I don't know if they ever promised to make more in Craftopia. Is the thing, but like, know. it's it one thing. Ma- like the thing is, is like the game never like like don't go out and put a game in early access and like have people pay for it, you know, and and then like you just basically fucking abandon the game to like make another game. Uh, and, nope. and then it ends up never leaving early access. Like also, that's really fucked up. The AI art and posture game is also still in early access. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like, I mean, Pal World might leave early access, and it might be their first game to do so. But it's like really scummy. Not their first game to do so. Over Dungeon did leave early access. That was their yeah. first game. I. It's just like it's really just scummy of yeah. them to like put games out there, and like not. Oh, yeah. 
have them leave early access and like just abandon them like when people have invested the money in it because they wanted to believe in you like it's the reason why i don't know if i want to spend my money on pal world because like maybe it will leave early access you know and 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 that's great and stuff but like it's super scummy that like craftopia was like a fucking disaster and they're not even gonna and instead of honing and 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 taking that money to like improve craftopia they probably used it towards pal world and like that's not what that money's supposed to be for it's supposed to be for making craftopia better and like craftopia and pal world are clearly like similar like why didn't they just implement what like i don't understand why they didn't use that money to like make craftopia into like what pal world is like yeah because then i think like it could make it so cool, you know? They pivoted. Yeah, like that's that probably one what trip. happened. They probably were like, well, this isn't going the way that we wanted it to. Let's make something completely different. Like something yep. similar, like similar idea, but like, let's do something completely different. And, you know, and, and, and they took that money to make Pal World, probably. And the game's only been in development for three years, which is not a very long time. Like, I'm not surprised if they stole assets or like whatever, you know, to to, to push the game. Well, out. Let's look at the timetable, right? Game was developed for three years, and while that game was in development, they had released AI Art Imposter, and were in the middle of development still of early access development of Craftopia. So they're working on three games at the same time. Not to mention small indie company. Yeah. Right. How many employees does Pocket Pair have? Can we find? Can I find that up? Can I sleuth this? Uh, Japanese company. Um, Open your eyes, people. <laughs> Open your eyes, sheeple. Uh, open your eyes. Just fucking open them, please. You're all a bunch of sheep. Founded in April 2015. Uh, headquarters in uh, Shigen, Shina, Shinagawa, J Tokyo, Japan. Apparently they gave I I don't I can't find the no! play count, but apparently they did give all their employees the weekend off to play Elden Ring when that came out. That's nice of them. I know I can't find a dev count, which is you know sometimes you can't. Hmm. It's classified. Yeah. Classified. Also, it's Japanese company, so different like disclosure laws. My thought, like if it was like a company in America or Japan. Them not being, or China, them not being worried about, you know, Nintendo coming after them, but like, they're in Tokyo. I don't, you know, like, are they not worried about Papa Pokemon? I guess. Coming after them? I guess they just do not. Maybe Nintendo never saw them as a threat. Well, like, right when the previous games were never really popular, right? Overly. So they stayed under the radar, but now, I mean, Three is it three million or four million as of recording this concurrent players? We'll see if Nintendo does anything about it. At this point, like I mean, they've gotten their money, but I mean, I guess they could lose it if Nintendo does want to try to sue. And Papa Pokemon is very protective of Pokemon. Like any Pokemon fan game that gets any sort of notoriety, insta shut down. So if they f have reason to suspect that it is taking assets from Pokemon. Game Freak has a crap ton of... Uh, not Game Freak, sorry. Pokemon Company. Game Freak does uh, not a full part of Pokemon. That's a whole thing, other topic. Pokemon Company has a lot of money. A lot of money. So. I don't know. Yeah. Good luck to you, Pocket Pair. We'll see how this unfolds. Yeah, we'll see. I, I could I could see it very easily happening. Dang it, Roma V3 merch opened up for... On, I'm an animate. Hello? <gasps> Plushes! It's a Gonta plush! Sorry. <laughs> I love Gonta. They have a plush for all the V3 casts. I like this. Wait, where? On anime. Send me a link. E. 15 USD. And blind blocks acrylics. These are cute. Is this like a legit site that's safe? Anime? Yeah, that's a... That's a Brand, this is the USA site for anime. Anime is one of the biggest uh, anime merch retailers in Japan. Oh, didn't know that. Yeah, they big there. They don't. They 
I think I only have one physical location in the States. Uh, only recently opened up, I think, in California. One could assume California. It's either California <laughs> or Texas. Uh, oh, I'm sure it was California. <laughs> there's a lot of anime stuff in Texas, though. Oh, I know, but... Oh. First off, easier access for Japan. True. Uh, political standings of Texas versus California. <laughs> How does it stop the cons, though? Uh, let me see something. Uh, wait, uh, I'm going to find out. It probably is California. Uh, but, you know, I just want to... I want to see. Yeah, California. Oh, actually, it might not even be open yet, but they're opening it in California. Anyway. Uh, probably a good time to end recording now. True. So, thank you all for listening to this episode of Nerd Nonsense. Uh, hope the clickbait worked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Open your eyes, people! <laughs> Open them! And, um, um, all the way. Uh, thank Please you for watching. Do it. Makoto and Luna, where can people find you? Twitch.tv slash Via Plum. Yeah, Makoto. Twitch.tv slash Makoto Dragon and Unless... Makoto Dragon underscore on Twitter. I'm not saying all that, but same places, but near Weeble Isle. You know the drill. Also, like uh subscribe um if you didn't like what i said uh don't do anything uh just go about your business and you most likely <laughs> won't like anything that he said because like let's be real a lot of people like pal world and you probably are one of the people that are like fuck you i'm gonna play it because i can do whatever the fuck i want and i don't care about other what you say and i'm gonna do it just to make you mad and that's fine, because we don't care. In fact, though, type all that out. Please do. Uh, it will still help the algorithm. <laughs> yeah, it will. So, honestly, I mean... we'll, honestly, the more hate that we get, the more attention we get. And we would be happy well, with that. Not to be hate fishing or anything, but I will also no. part <laughs> with the... I will part... <laughs> I will part with these words in that, like, if you like Pal World, that's perfectly fine. I'm yeah. glad you have a game that you like and stuff. And personally, I haven't tried it yet, so I can't say. But, you know, just just keep this in mind with this company. Like, just know that you'll be supporting that and stuff. Like, if that doesn't bother you, and if you just want to play a fun game, that's fine. You know, you're not the person who's making the game. You're just, you know, you're just a consumer. And, you know, and that's and that's fine. Yeah, it's okay to be an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh i'll say uh keep consuming um you know you know, just you know, keep eating it up it's fine keep consuming. you know keep eating <laughs> yeah because yeah. you don't want to die like exactly <laughs> uh kind of look nasty. if you if you enjoy the game i'm so happy for you because i found it utterly boring and i am glad someone else found enjoyment in the game so uh keep enjoying it you you are hold on to that hold on to those little joys in life they're special because yeah, the world is very special. bleak and dark and depressing. We, we don't want to take it away from you, you know? Yeah, just hold on to that joy. Never let it go. Because I'm never going to let you go. Never let, let it go. Let... Damn it! You ruined it! <laughs> I'm never going to... I was going to say, never going to give you up. <laughs> never going to let you down or desert you. <laughs> ah! Alright, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>